Hi everyone! Welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's the Poodle Mom again with the Two Toy Poodles. So last week, my dog Summer over here swallowed a foreign object, which we were trying to flush out. So in this video, I will show you how and why, or maybe the process how it was flushed out in the most unexpected way, found the culprit, and as well as share things that I learned from this experience. If you guys are interested in that, then please keep on watching. So we ended the last video from when I came back from the vet. And that was a Saturday, and I shot that video on a Sunday. So Saturday, I was already giving her meds. We finished the vet visit around 12, so we got home at around 1, if not 1.30. And I got to give her the first dose of the laxatives as well as the antacids and stuff. And we were told that we should be expecting her to... Mm, on that day, but nothing happened. How could you call this dog sick? But she is sick. Hey, you better be able to flush it out normally. So funny, we're on poop patrol. My trusty flashlight. Because I saw her step out. The thing is, I didn't catch her. Checking for poop. Can't believe I'm doing this. Patrol, poop patrol. We are going on poop patrol. So the next day, I was of course on edge, but thankfully she pooped on that day. But then it was weird because her poop, I don't know if I was able to take videos. If I did, I'll project them here. Did you poop a roo? Is there poop? There's no poop. There is poop. Is that poop? They were like black balls i don't know if you guys have seen um the poop of like i'm so sorry for being so descriptive but poop of like goats they're like <laughs> chocolate balls and her poop looked like that but then it was kind of stringy and stuff so it wasn't liquid and it was something i wasn't expecting but then i was of course getting scared because there was nothing so it was disgusting i was literally smushing it <laughs> so i wore double gloves this is disgusting so i will do this so have this and wear that on top of this <laughs> so i was wearing double gloves because i had every intention of keeping them yeah it sounds disgusting but i have to for monitoring purposes so i was literally smushing poop by hand <laughs> do this disgusting because even if like i dissect it like that i was scared that you know the bone was relatively small and then it wouldn't be seen and it might get smushed to the soil from like the grass in the backyard and stuff so uh, it was disgusting smushing poop that was monday that was the first time i saw her poop like a bit more but it wasn't liquid either there was no signs of any sort of liquid but this time the poop was kind of grayish and kind of chalky mm. this is the pooper Ooh, yummy smell <coughs> and as far as I know when it's like that it's a sign of like the dog having too much calcium but it was weird because it was like stringy as well but it was grayish and it looked like very very small pieces of like sausages but then it's gray and like rotten and yeah sorry for the description and then come tuesday she pooped again it was brown dark brown and kind of yellowish and when i was smushing it it was it was the right consistency for any kind of poop so i was like okay this is pretty good because it's kind of getting softer compared to the last few days poop patrol i don't know how many rounds i've done already summer once a day she pooped again it was the same it was a brownish thing like any regular poop and i'm like holy crap they said three days and i even extend we had to get back in three days but then i even extended it for maybe one or two days because in my head maybe the meds weren't kicking in that fast because we got to give it to her saturday night so i counted a like i, I extended the counting a little bit and so yeah bottom line i after wednesday that's when i decided to schedule her for another follow-up which was one day after the desired supposed day of completing the meds i was getting scared but then a part of me was also thinking maybe it moved so it would be nice to have an x-ray to see where it is already so we went on thursday afternoon 
And when they gave her an x-ray, they, they, they did the usual tests for her, everything was normal, and they showed me the x-ray. It was suddenly gone! And I was like, what? Did she just make me spend money? <laughs> And then, so the vet started asking me questions of what the poop was and, and stuff like that. I showed videos, but I, I didn't have, I, I don't think I took all the videos. Anyway, when I was describing it to the vet, the final diagnosis was maybe it really was bone. Because clear signs were being indicated the first few times she was pooping. The first poop was kind of hard and tough because she was being she was getting constipated constipation can happen because of like too much calcium and so many other things but in this case we will we were gearing towards the too much calcium because of the suspected object like we said earlier it could have been bone or some sort of metal based on the color and the brightness of the microchip and the next few days uh when i told him he was worried about the grayish uh, chalky, we called it chocobots, <laughs> poop. And he was saying that that it, it's that, that gray, brownish, um, stringy, hard, uh, soft ish poop that was long and stringy. That is the object that we were trying to flush out. Her body was successful in actually digesting it and easing it out. So his final diagnosis was, it could have been that the reason why she was um, uneasy was because her stomach was having a hard time digesting it. And it was getting stuck, that's why she was getting constipated and she had too much air in her um, intestines. And the laxatives as well as the antacids were helping with the digestion process, especially the laxative. So her uh, her stomach was able to digest the bone. Now, um, she pooped in the vet clinic as well, and we successfully retrieved like a super, super, super small fragment that I wasn't ta able to take a picture of because I did not bring my phone. And I actually, quite, quite honestly, I was I, I, I forgot because I was just so happy that it's, it's, it's gone and there was no operation that were to happen. And I figured out what it is. And yes, it was bone, and it was a lechon bone. And I found the culprit when I went home. After successfully flushing it out, the culprit finally admitted to the sin. It was my grandmother. I knew it, I knew it. It could have been, it, it could have only been her. Because she gives the dogs everything, even like the bad stuff. And she, like, she, she said she couldn't admit it while it was still there because she was so guilty. <laughs> she was so guilty. And now that it's out, that's when she finally, she's okay to admit it because it's gone. And I'm like, holy crap. So with that, I also want to share with you a few things that I learned from this experience. Number one is it's very important for you guys to follow your gut feeling when it comes to your animal. When in doubt, always, always, always bring them to the vet right away. Follow that gut feeling that there's something wrong and then just work on it. Because when it comes to animals, time is always ticking and things could go wrong so quickly that you will have regrets later on. It's very important, like I said in the previous video, for you to know what's normal from what's not. So that even if there are no major symptoms, if they're not acting normal and it's really far off from what they normally act as, then something is definitely wrong. We just don't know what. So it's important to have instincts for that. Another thing I learned is it's important for us to have more than just one vet. Like you have to have your primary vet, of course, your primary vet clinic that you were go to or vet hospital, whatever. It's important to have a secondary one because in our case here, Summer's primary, well, our primary vet went on vacation. And of course I can't rant about it that how dare you be out when my dog is sick and stuff like that. Of course not. They have their own lives to live too. Accidents can always happen, no matter how much experience you have, no matter how 
preventive you are with so many things no matter what you do accident will happen there is nothing perfect quite frankly all this was happening with another family emergency with my vet away and what i realized is you know life just goes on there was no way for me to just watch her stay out there and poop life had to go on i had to continue with work i had to continue shooting videos and editing videos i just continued on with my life and that took a lot of patience and a lot of courage as well so when you face something like that i hope i hope this will give you courage too i know it's hard it's easier said than done but just trust the process and hope that everything will be all right because more often than not i think everything would be fine see you guys next time